Coming up next, a welterweight matchup between Jorge Masvidal and Conor McGregor. Well, a special feel in this arena tonight for more reasons than one, but of course, the centerpiece is the former two-division UFC champion, the future Hall of Famer, Conor McGregor, returning to the proven ground here tonight. He fought three times in 2016, just once in 2018. Everybody's excited to see what version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. There are more Irish flags in the building <laughs> than you'll find anywhere in the United States of America. <laughs> and it's all for the notorious one. Conor McGregor has taken his country, put it on his back, and rode it to super stardom he is a fantastic fighter has really good takedown defense which allows him to keep the fights on the feet where guys are always in danger you're constantly in danger whenever you're fighting conor mcgregor because the moment you attack that counter left hand is like a piston and he can shut your lights out with one strike yeah that mcgregor counter left hand truly one of the best weapons in mixed martial arts today a master when it comes to movement and distance management and also just rising to the occasion, right? When all eyeballs are on him, and you've experienced this as well, the ability on fight night to shine. All the distractions, Connor is able to shut them out, and he goes into the octagon, is focused, and always gets the job done. All right, here he is, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal, longtime representative of American Top Team. You know how happy it would make Dan Lambert if Masvidal could finally break through and win a UFC championship. He's as close to that level as he's been in his UFC career. As he's ever been. He's finally on the cusp of earning what so many people have hoped for for him. But that doesn't happen by accident. The reason he's this close now is because of the commitment that he has made to mixed martial arts. Commitment that he has made to evolving his game, going up to 170 pounds, and also using everything that he has in order to get to where he wants to be before. There might have been distractions. Now, Jorge Masvidal is solely focused on becoming a UFC champion. Left his family to go compete in a reality show outside of the United States. Gave him a, yeah, <laughs> one, it gave him a lot of focus and direction, and he has put all of that to good use here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 16 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your car. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're gonna get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Leg kick. Nice. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here, and both guys really throwing with authority. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, for years, Tyron Woodley had said Jorge Masvidal is the best boxer on this UFC roster. Certainly showed you the hands there. DC. I mean, he's showing it, man. I mean, this, I mean, he's showing it, John. This guy has an ability to stand and box with anyone in the UFC. And that was on full display when he beat Nate Diaz. Good punch. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. And he landed the right hand there. So just over 20 total strikes. He found the mark for Conor McGregor. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, good uppercut there. Unable to land with that punch. McGregor gets stung by that leg kick. Blocks the shot. Conor McGregor gets caught by that straight hand. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Another huge right. Liver kick. And we got a fight on our hands. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Game break gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Right hand landed. Oh, beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. 20 seconds left. Now it's his mount. Final seconds of round one. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty Ready? good, not great, but some action Ready? on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of the fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Misses with the left hook. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really... Un oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, straight right! Knee to the body! Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Let's go, set the pace. Just over three minutes now to go. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. So 55 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. And the connection rate, pretty good. 55% to this point in the fight against Jorge Masvidal. Punch coming, it's blocked. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace at... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down.
uses the right hand. Big kick lands. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by McGregor. Nice combination there by Connor. Pretty good job to find the striking range there, DC. Connor is one of the best strikers in the UFC, and it's all because of the way that he manages space. He's a master manipulator in terms of managing the distance. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big knee! Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, straight right. Big punch lands through the middle. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Big straight left. McGregor's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Left hand is true. That will absolutely work. He throws it like a pistol. Back and forth, he's landing that beautiful left hand. Time. Good jab. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. Great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a fire fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect. Oh, dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. So inside the open guard of his opponent, he got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. 106 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. And landing at a pretty good clip, 55% thus far tonight against Jorge Masvidal. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has gone to stop for this contest. At two minutes, 37 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by knockout. There will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout.